Hello and welcome to this short Kiwi Code Solutions video on bonus tools. Hi, my name is Sam and I'll be running through a short demonstration on bonus tools, Excel Tools. Excel Tools allows you to export and import schedules to and from Excel, allowing you to utilize Excel to perform repetitive schedule manipulation. Excel Tools contains seven individual tools, export category to Excel, export schedule to Excel, import from Excel, export room template, import new rooms, export sheet template and import new sheets. I'll run through each and this tool is available for Revit 2012 and newer versions of Revit. Export category to Excel allows you to select a category, phase and parameters to export to Excel. To run the tool, navigate to the bonus tools tab and select export category to Excel from the Excel tools drop down and the dialog box will appear. First select the category you would like to export from the drop down, then select the phase the elements are constructed on. Then choose parameters by either double clicking, selecting one and clicking the add button, or clicking add all. The same operations apply to removing parameters. Tick include family name and type if you would also like to see them in the export. You also have the ability to export the current settings by clicking the export button and saving the settings. You can also import previously exported settings by clicking the import button and searching for exported setting files. Note the Excel tools will load the previously used settings on activation to speed up exports. Once you've selected all parameters and other settings, click OK. A confirmation dialog will appear confirming number of elements that have been exported. Excel will also have opened. The first row in Excel is the category. The second row in Excel is the parameter name used during import. Please do not delete or modify this row. The third row in Excel is the parameter type. Do not delete this row. The first column in Excel is red and is the element ID used during import. Again, do not delete this column. Any column in light grey in Excel contains type parameters. Any column in beige in Excel contains read-only parameters and cannot be modified. All non-coloured columns in Excel contain instance parameters. Please take care when sorting the element ID and the row associated to the ID are not broken as during import errors will occur. Delete any other rows and columns after export as desired except for those mentioned previously. Acquired and then save the file, ready for import into Revit. Note the saved file should be treated as a temporary file. Make modifications as Export Schedule to Excel allows you to select a schedule and export it to Excel. To run the tool, navigate to the Bonus Tools tab and select Export Schedule to Excel from the Excel Tools drop-down and a dialog box will appear. From the dialog, select the schedule you wish to export and click OK. A confirmation dialog will appear confirming the number of elements that have been exported. Excel will also have opened. The first row in Excel is the category. 
The second row in Excel is the parameter name used during import and do not delete or modify this row. The third row in Excel is the parameter type. Do not delete this row. The first column in Excel is red and is the element ID used during import. Again, do not delete this column. Any column in light grey in Excel contains type parameters. Any column in beige in Excel contains read-only parameters and these cannot be modified. All non-coloured columns in Excel contain instance parameters. Please take care when sorting, the element ID and the row associated to the ID are not broken, as during import errors will occur. Make modifications as required and then save the file, ready for import into Revit. Note the save file should be treated as a temporary file. Import from Excel allows you to select any Excel file that is formatted as per the export functions and import the data. To run the tool, navigate to the Bonus Tools tab and select Import from Excel from the Excel Tools drop-down. A dialog box will appear, allowing you to search for an Excel file for import. Once selected, a confirmation dialog will appear confirming number of elements that have been updated. A second dialog will also appear listing the estates, noting if they passed or failed. Note any fails will be in red. With the dialogues closed, you can inspect the changes. Export Room Template allows you to export a formatted template to Excel ready for new rooms to be added. To run the tool, navigate to the Bonus Tools tab and select Export Room Template from the Excel Tools drop-down. A dialog box will appear showing the category was exported with no elements. Excel will also have opened. The first row in Excel is the parameter name used during import. Please do not delete or modify this row. The second row in Excel is the parameter type. Again, do not delete this row. Remove the columns that you do not need and start adding rows of data for new rooms. Once the additions have been made, then save the file ready for import into Revit. Note the save file should be treated as a temporary file. Import New Rooms allows you to select an Excel file that is formatted as per the Export Room Template function to quickly bulk and add rooms into the project. To run the tool, navigate to the Bonus Tools tab and select Import New Rooms from the Excel Tools drop-down. A dialog box will appear, allowing you to search for an Excel file to create rooms from. Once selected, a confirmation dialog will appear, confirming number of rooms that have been created. A second dialog will also appear, listing the parameter modifications, noting if they passed or failed. Note that any fails will be in red. With the dialogues closed, you can inspect a room schedule and see the newly created rooms in the schedule. Note if a phase was not specified, then the rooms will have been created on the first phase in the project. Export Sheet Template allows you to export a sheet schedule template to Excel ready for new sheets to be added. To run the tool, navigate to the Bonus Tools tab and select Export Sheet Template from the Excel Tools drop-down. A dialog box will appear showing the category was exported with no elements. Excel will also have opened. The first row in Excel is the parameter name used during import. Do not delete or modify this row. The second row in Excel is the parameter type. Do not delete this row. Remove the columns that you do not need and start adding rows of data for new sheets.
Once the additions have been made, then save the file ready for import into Revit. Note that the save file should be treated as a temporary file. Import New Sheets allows you to select an Excel file that is formatted as per the Export Room Template function to quickly bulk add sheets into the project. To run the tool, navigate to the Bonus Tools tab and select Import New Sheets from the Excel Tools drop-down. A dialog box will appear allowing you to search for an Excel file to create rooms from. Once selected, a confirmation dialog will appear confirming the number of sheets that have been created and a second dialogue will also appear listing the parameter modifications, noting if they passed or failed. Note that any fails will be in red. With the dialogues closed, you can inspect the project browser and see the newly created sheets. Thank you for watching this demonstration on Bonus Tools, Excel Tools.